Honorable Brother Miranda, respected teachers, staff, parents, my dear fellow students, and all who are part of a large Colombian family across the world, a very bright and warm welcome to each and every one of you. As we gather on this virtual platform to commemorate and celebrate the glorious 80th year of our beloved school, St. Columbus, that was established in 1941 by the Indian province of the Congregation of Christian Brothers. As we embark on the 80th milestone of our existence, we would like to fondly remember our dear Edmund Ignatius Rice, founder of the Christian Brothers, who is remembered as an extraordinary figure in the history of Ireland and the history of education across the world. His legacy is what we witness today as members of this prestigious school in India. It is an honor to be the torchbearers of his legacy. We are living in changing times for education, not only in India but globally. However, St. Columbus takes pride in providing an education system that exemplifies both diversity and inclusion. We all have a greater role to play in recognizing this change and the ability to exuberate our learnings and skills to shape our future. St. Columbus School has been striving to bring transformative education by aiming for holistic and all-round development from time memorial. But what do we know about the rich history of this marvelous institution? To enlighten us in depth about the historical journey of our school, let us first watch a video showcasing our patron saint, that is St. Columbus's extraordinary life journey. It will be presented by Mr. Piyush Emmanuel. This will be followed by the history of St. Columbus School, presented by Soham Kulkarni. So let us sit back and enlighten our minds and warm our hearts with these two marvelous sagas of a glorious heritage. The Life of St. Columba St. Columba was born in Donegal around 521 AD. His family belonged to the powerful clan Senel Connell. Saint Columba studied to become a monk under Saint Finian in Glasnevin, Dublin and Saint Moby in Movilla, County Down. According to legend, Columba founded a monastery in Derry around 545 AD high on a hill in the heart of what now known as the Walled City. Columba dedicated his life not only to God but also to books and manuscripts. He loved to copy verses from the Bible, compose poetry and note important events of the time. He is said to have sparked the first copyright dispute in history by copying a book of Psalms belonging to his old teacher, Saint Finian. The High King Darmet Maxerbel ruled in favor of Saint Finian, declaring, To every cow its calf, to every book its copy. A terrible battle ensued on Columba's behalf. Racked with guilt for the pain and violence he had caused, Columba set sail for the Scottish island of Iona, vowing never to return to his native land. Columba lived a humble life on Iona, praying, studying, leading his community, setting up monasteries and converting people to Christianity. Legend has it that Columba met the Loch Ness Monster, banishing him forever when he raised his hand to make the sign of peace.
Saint Columba died on Iona around 597 AD. The Columban legacy includes many of the firsts in our heritage. The earliest annals were begun at the saint's monastery on Iona. The earliest Celtic cross is found on Iona. Some of the earliest non-classical Latin poems in Europe are attributed to the saint. The oldest Irish illuminated manuscript, the Catholic, is attributed to Columba. And the most important manuscripts from Britain and Ireland all come from Columban monasteries. Columba's legacy lives on in the city that bears his name, Doyle Comisil where he is still celebrated. Hello, I am happy to be here to present to you all the history of St. Columbus. Have you ever wondered how St. Columbus started? Who was the first principal? How many students were there in the first batch? How many classrooms did we have? So come, let us now spend a few moments on this 80th anniversary of our school to learn about its history and foundation. In the year 1940, Reverend Sylvester Patrick Mulligan, the Archbishop of Delhi, granted the Congregation of Christian Brothers a permanent lease of three acres of land to start a school. He had great faith in the Christian Brothers and had heard of their great zeal in working for the education of boys in both Ireland and in India. He wanted the school to be a sign of the wonderful gift of education to the land of India. His generosity was not misplaced, for the Christian Brothers had indeed established a fine reputation as leading educationists and they lived up to Reverend Mulligan's expectations by beginning classes even before the school building was ready. Four Christian brothers and three teachers began classes for the first batch of 32 students on 7 January 1941 in tents pitched on the land allotted to them near Sacred Heart Cathedral in New Delhi. The school building developed into an elegant edifice under the careful supervision of Brother Columban Doheny. Its classical architecture merited a befitting name and was called St. Columba's to honour the Irish saint St. Columba. In naming the new venture after the saint, the Christian brothers hoped the school students would imbibe his many virtues and values like his firm resolve, perseverance, dedication, commitment, brotherhood, service to others and pride in oneself. St. Columba School officially opened on 29th April 1941 with brother R. E. Butler as its first principal. The new school grew in stature under a succession of dedicated principals and soon became the most sought-after school for boys in Delhi. In July 1941, St. Columbus was granted affiliation to Cambridge University for the Senior Cambridge Examination. The first four senior students sat for the examination the following December, while eight junior school students took the Junior Cambridge Examination. By the end of the first decade, St. Columbus had emerged as Delhi's leading boys' school with 500 students and 23 staff members. Each year brought more students and very soon the school ran short of space to accommodate its growing student body. The situation became critical, with students seated in the foyer and corridor forcing the brothers to request the Delhi Diocese for more land. The church obliged with a small plot of land on which the junior school block was built in 1956 by the time the total number of students in St. Columbus was 2,235. Another 2.3 acres of land was acquired from the Delhi Development Authority for the middle school in 1966 during the tenure of brother F.J. Steinmeier. The school now has over 3,400 students with many names on the waiting list for admission. The school's continuous impact in the field of education was duly acknowledged by the Education Quality Foundation of India when it selected St. Columba School as the most deserving recipient of the whole school award for dissemination of quality education. And till date, St. Columbus is daily gaining numerous laurels across the nation in being pioneers and trendsetters in transformative and holistic education. 
We are also honored and privileged to be part of this great school as we celebrate its 80th year. We can never thank enough all the Christian brothers who, following the footsteps of Blessed Edmund Rice, have given to us in handfuls the gift of new life and new vision so that we can make this world a more beautiful and loving place. May Blessed Edmund and St. Columba School live in our hearts forever. Thank you, Mr. Emmanuel and Soham for presenting to us the story of St. Columba and the history of our school. How amazing it is to see the journey our school has covered so far. I am sure we all now understand the value and sacrifice of those who worked untiringly to make St. Columbus achieve the pinnacle of success. Undoubtedly, one of the important parts played to help St. Columbus achieve this milestone is that of our principals who have led the institution with example. It's now time to recognize the contribution made by each one of them since then till now. We will be presenting video messages of some of our Christian brothers who have served as head of sections, teachers and principals of SES. I assure you all that we have so much to learn from these exemplary Christian brothers. St. Columba School is what it is today thanks to the congregation of Christian brothers who not only founded the school but served tirelessly as teachers and principals in the school for the past 80 years. We are blessed to have had a long lineage of Irish Christian brothers and brothers from the Indian province who have steered SCS to reach its pinnacle of success in education. They have helped each student achieve his dreams and aspirations and to think beyond limitations set by any lack of resources, personal difficulties, learning problems or sudden setbacks. They were brave in the face of even hurdles imposed by culture and society. Our principles were our guiding light and continue to bless us from wherever they are. Let us now have a look at the history of our past principal brothers who forged our school and helped it to attain its present stature and glory in the past 80 years. Our first principal was Brother Richard Butler from 1941 to 1944. He was followed by Brother William McHale from 1944 to 1950. Then came Brother John Joseph Kreis from 1950 to 1955. Then Brother Bernard Canisius Morrow from 1955 to 1961. Then Brother Eugene Xavier Leonard from 1961 to 1966. Then Brother Francis John Steinmeier from 1966 to 1969. Then Brother John Nobert Foley from 1969 to 1975. I am sure these names sound so familiar. We have named our schoolhouses after these renowned and amazing brothers. Brother Foley's cricket tournament has an all-India status and is a victory for which every school team aspires. Truly, we are blessed to have had such amazing brothers. Moving on, we had Brother Robert Noel Bosco Oman from 1975 to 1982. Then Brother Joseph Philip Pinto from 1982 to 1987. Then Brother Camo de Brito John Norona from 1987 to 1990. Then Brother Wilfred Adrian de Souza from 1990 to 1996. Then Brother Simon Coelho from 1996 to 2002. Then Brother Philip Cyril Christopher from 2002 to 2006. Then Brother Leonard Diago Lobo from 2006 to 2012. Then Brother Michael Robert Bedo from 2012 to 2016. And finally Brother Evie Miranda. We now have Brother E.V. Miranda, who is a dynamic and versatile leader and has led us to face the difficult times of the coronavirus pandemic with courage. In the past five years, he has steered us all to attain both academic and personal success. So today, we thank God for each of the brother principals and for all the Christian brothers who are connected to our school and are serving now in different parts of the world. May Blessed Edmund and his brothers live in our hearts forever. Amen. I have been asked to say a few words on the occasion of the 80th anniversary of St. Columbus School. An occasion like this is a wonderful chance to stop, look back at what has been and look forward. Look back at the blessings, look forward 
to the challenges. So I would like to begin with blessings. I'd like to begin by thanking all those people who have passed through the portals of this institution. I'm grateful for their contribution, grateful for their presence, grateful for their just being there. The only way that God makes God's self visible in our world today is through people and events. And we have been more than lucky at St. Columbus to have wonderful people go through our portals. Wonderful people who have made visible God's wisdom and God's beauty, God's compassion, God's justice and God's love. I include in this the many brothers that have served there, the hundreds of teachers, men and women, beautiful, dedicated people, administrative staff, the workers in our school. Grateful for all of them as I look back from this vantage point of 80 years. And then, of course, the children. The thousands upon thousands of young people who have responded to the call for life, to live life fully, who have taken what they've got from the school and then distributed it in the world and made a wonderful contribution. God bless them all. There is so much to be grateful for. Hello, I am Brother Frederick Martin Fernandez. I joined St. Columbus in 1951. That's just 10 years after it was built. My two brothers, elder brothers, Derek and Cedric, were also in St. Columbus. Derek joined the Air Force and Cedric became a Christian brother. Unfortunately, he passed away earlier this year. My mother, Mrs. Sheila Fernandez, she was the art teacher for many, many years. And you might say now that the whole family was in some way involved in St. Columbus. At that time, St. Columbus paid great attention to games and sports, and there was a great emphasis on games and sports of all kinds. We were encouraged to take part in sports and this was done by our parents first of all, by our teachers and by our PT masters and the brothers. You might say I learned more lessons in life on the sports field than I did in the classroom determination, how to win gracefully and how to lose graciously, determination also with perseverance, the will to push one to one's furthest limits. These are some of the lessons I learned on the games field. I am grateful to St. Columbus for inculcating these values in me. Not forgetting, of course, discipline and academics for which we were given a firm foundation. I take this opportunity to wish you all, staff, teachers, students, a wonderful 80th anniversary. May St. Columbus be what it has always been, a beacon of light. And always remember, you don't belong to just a school. You are part of an 80-year-old legend. God bless you all. I hope you have a wonderful celebration. Thank you. I am indeed privileged and honored. Privileged because there is only one school, St. Columbus, where I spent all my school years. 
from KG to class 11. In those days, school was up to class 11. I'm honored because I returned as principal of St. Columbus in 1990. Incidentally, 1990 was the Golden Jubilee year of the school. I did have the opportunity of catching up with some of my teachers and I felt really good. I had last met them as a student, now as principal. I will never forget their respectful words and their respectful manners. It sure did teach me a lesson or two. St. Columbus for me as a student was most fascinating. The school was small, just one building. School life was so full of exciting activity. Not many of us today will cycle back to school on a hot summer afternoon to either play for the class or join the cheer squad. Many, many of us did, and it was fun. Life as principal was challenging. Times had changed a fair bit, with TV having come in in a big way. And there were other distractions too. The number of students had quadrupled. The spirit and ethos of St. Columbus was ingrained as all my formative years were influenced by my years in school. Dear members of, of the staff, teaching and non-teaching, dear parents and my dear students, utilize every opportunity that the school provides towards a broadening of horizon. A tunnel does have an ending, but too long within it isn't healthy. Congratulations as you celebrate 80 years of St. Columbus. And may all of you be around to celebrate the centenary. This is my wish and prayer. God bless you all. Dear friends, I'd like to congratulate the management, the principal, the staff, students and parents on reaching yet another milestone of 80 years in the history of St. Columbus School. This is indeed a remarkable feat when we consider the thousands of lives that have been shaped over these years. The management and the staff have always striven to offer their very best to the students. They have kept pace with the changing scenario. For this, they need to be commended and saluted for their Herculean contribution. Yes, we cannot forget our humble beginnings when the classes were held in temporary tents on the junior school grounds. Then, the property for the middle school was acquired to increase the capacity of the institution its sole purpose being to serve a larger student population. To me, having five sections in every class is a unique feature of a Christian Brothers School. This has naturally made for more healthy competition in order to endeavour to be the very best. The ex columbans have and are still serving in various spheres of society, be it the judiciary, civil society, civil services, industry, research, armed forces, etc. and in every walk of life. They are being challenged to live the values of our founder, President Edmund Rice, by truly being leaders in every field. I'd like to consciously here acknowledge the number of ex columbans who joined the Christian Brothers over the years and gave their all to the congregation and the schools. They are the likes of Brother Philip Pinto, ex-congregation leader and province leader, Brother Gerard Alvarez, ex-province leader, Brother Wilfred D'Souza and Brother Lenny Lobo, ex-regional leaders, the late Brother Cyril Christopher and late Brother Greg Fernandez, ex-principals, with a host of other principals like Brother Martin Fernandez, Brother Thomas Samuel, Brother Jerem Manuel, 
Brother Joel Tavares, Brother Anish John, Brother Jerry Menezes and Brother Bernie Julius. His older brother, Brother Stelgis Julius, is a computer whiz for us in the brothers. The youngest Columban is Brother Jerry Eka, serving in a new mission in Meghalaya. I wish the entire Columban family the very best as they encounter fresh challenges and charter an innovative course to keep in tune with the new education policy 2020, trying to make Columbus an ever more inclusive school. God bless you and may the divine spark in our hearts live forever. Brother S. Koilo. On the occasion of the 80th anniversary of St. Columbus, we have much to be grateful for the countless graces and blessings over the years. As we put together our story for the, good, for the past eight years, the hard work of the brothers was embedded in their story, in their strong faith. At SCS, we worked as a team. I am happy to be part of the team. Yes, we recoil the joy and excitement of a school that has found itself. We remember the founding fathers, the teachers, auxiliary staff, living and dead for their contributions and most important, their qualities of leadership. Thank you. How privileged our present and past pupils at this juncture of our history have rejoiced over the years at past achievements, the school results, at our efforts at sport and numerous opportunities given. I congratulate one and all for being agents of change, hope and transformation. We urge you to make the most of every opportunity that comes your way. Eight years have passed and God in his goodness continues to pour infinite blessings on this institution we call Columbus. Wishing the school every success. God bless. It fills us with immense pride when we hear such heartwarming experiences shared by our beloved principals who have been the very cornerstones of this school. Their zeal, their mission, and their commitment has truly contributed in the making of St. Columbus what it is today. Indeed, a journey worth all the praises. Their vision and leadership have surely accelerated the stature of our institution. It is always a pleasure and humble experience of witnessing and listening to our beloved principals. As Alexander Trent Four quotes, the best teachers are those who show you where to look but don't tell you what to see. It is universally true that our teachers have been the milestones of our journey as students, guiding our direction and vision for the future. It is with this thought that I now call upon Mahatwa to share with us how teaching has evolved over the years. Thereafter, we will be listening to a few sharing from a proud ex columbus would narrate their association with the school. Teachers are like second parents to students, spending over 12 years in an institution. We owe most of our being to our shapers. We will remain forever indebted to our school and teachers for making us a bright star in the gallery. Thank you, Mahatma. Evolution is a wonderful word and when we talk about evolution, the things which comes to our mind are development and the process of change and how they revolve around time. But for us Columbans, evolution is not just a word, it's a feeling. A feeling of going through time, creating memories, learning from our past mistakes, but most importantly connecting with each other. Times changed, dreams changed, our ideologies changed, but what remained with us were those countless memories of learning things together and growing together into young gentlemen. 
Eight years was indeed a long journey, and learning evolved over time. From the adrenaline rush of making notes in a brand new book to attending online classes, yes, it all seems like a dream. But our school never left us alone, and has always helped us in those times when we needed support the most. During the past one and a half year of the COVID crisis, we learned the importance of skills. that were way beyond simple theoretical knowledge through our online classes we were encouraged to learn interpersonal skills such as conflict resolution negotiation teamwork and also intrapersonal skills like resilience time management initiative and flexibility we know that these are now integral characteristics to possess our school has taught us to believe in ourselves other important skills that we acquired along with a regular formal education are cognitive skills such as critical thinking reasoning and innovation that will help an individual go beyond his described job role and prove himself to be a true asset to an organization truly scs have set a benchmark for all round development in these difficult times too and taught us to be ready for the fast changing world We also know the virtual teaching misses the personal connect of the physical, social, and normal classroom environment, but we have made the best out of every situation and tried to keep the connections going in spite of all the constraints. We never missed any opportunity for connecting online or for all events, whether it was the art exhibition, the awards, sports, the elocutions, the MUNs, CFES, competitions. orientation etc truly the future is uncertain but saint columbus teaches us that it's in our hands and we can carve a beautiful destiny for ourselves and the world we are the change makers and the game changers we care and we will do our best to transform the world into a more compassionate place for each one of us as we go through these difficult times Sapere odi, sincere et constante. These are words that I heard in school, and I liked the sound of and the ideas that they conveyed. But honestly, never fully owned it till much later. My years in school, from KG in seventy four to class twelve in nineteen eighty seven, are a veritable cornucopia of some amazing memories. But I'm sure that a lot of them would form a large common subset of almost any child's memories in a good school. But what made Columbus special for me were the teachers. Their ideals beyond academics and the subjects they taught and my lifelong friends. From Mrs. Moring de Silva who taught with precision and diligence but was always ready with a smile especially during the last period on Fridays when she would tell us stories from movies or the theater of life. I imbibed compassion. From brother Bennett who taught us maths and geography in class 8 who would come in at the end of the period before break so that he could painstakingly reproduce a detailed world map on the blackboard during break in order to teach us geography that i've never since forgotten knowing fully well that the map would be rubbed off at the end of the period i learned the importance of effort from mr barrett who besides being an amazing geography teacher was also an outstanding athletics coach and an athlete himself i learned the importance of discipline in seemingly ordinary things from brother eric de souza who was many people rolled into one a musician a producer a director a sportsman and a sporting man a poet and a far sighted educationist i understood the value of seeking and developing talent from mr juginder singh a mechanical drawing teacher and much loved coach who i have always had the pleasure of meeting whenever i have returned to school even now i recognize the value of dedication and the fact that age is just a number from brother pinto who commanded respect without ever demanding it from whom you couldn't turn away if he was speaking i learned the power of the spoken word and the necessity for deep thought 
from many other teachers and from the band of young men that passed through the hallowed halls of St. Columbus over the last 80 years, imbibing these and many more significant values, I continue to learn today and to benefit from the lessons that they took away and made a part of their own credo for life. So that today I know of a hundred or more Columbans that lead by example, stand out for excellence in what they do, have ethics at the bedrock of their ethos and understand the value of compassion. And that is why the words dare to learn, strive to be constant and sincere, resound, resonate and continue to guide me 34 years after I have left St. Columbus. Brother Miranda, today on behalf of my batch and all the alumni of this wonderful institution, I warmly thank you and all the past principals, all the faculty and staff over the years for all the wonderful work that you all have done and continue to do. And we wish you all and the current students the very best on this significant day. God bless. Jai Hind. Hi, this is Deep Kalra from the batch of 87, wishing everyone in the St. Columbus family a wonderful 80th anniversary. To all the Christian brothers, to all the teachers and all the students, indeed an amazing milestone and my very best to all of you. Uh, I'm lucky enough to be in Kashmir right now where I got away the moment lockdown was lifted uh, with my family in a homestay, in a safe haven. So many wishes to give Columbus on the 80th. Uh, the school that's given me everything. I believe uh, school is a place where we learn so much more beyond what's taught to us in our classes. We learn our values from two places, from our families and from school. And this school has given me everything when it comes to value education, when it comes to discipline, when it comes to the importance of friends, the importance of teamwork, the emphasis that all the teachers and the Christian brothers would lay not just on studies, but extracurriculars, and most importantly, on being good human beings. Uh, I would like to say has served me very well over the years. I owe a lot to Columbus, and I don't think I'll ever be able to repay that debt. So thank you very much, uh, SES, for making me who I am today, with lots of love and best wishes on the 80th anniversary. This is Deep Kalp. I'm sure all of us are humbled by listening to these experiences shared by a proud Columbus. It has indeed instilled deep gratitude and pride in us after hearing their journey with Columbus. We express our sincere gratitude to them for making us love our dear school, all the more filling us with joy and courage to carry on the banner of SCS with pride. Now, I would like to invite Mrs. Iris Frederick who have been one of our most senior and outstanding teachers of SES for many years. Ma'am had also served as the administrator of senior school and has witnessed St. Columbus grow and blossom. Truly, it is an honor to have Ma'am sharing her insights with us. It is a joy to be associated with the 80th anniversary celebration of St. Columbus School. I fondly recall the six principals that I worked with who have devoted their precious time, skills and knowledge to make me a star in the academic arena for making me feel valued and appreciated. I joined St. Columbus School as PGT Commerce in April 1993 and spent 23 memorable years, 19 years as a teacher and 4 plus years as the administrator of the senior school building which is also an archaeological landmark in Delhi. I salute all the Christian brothers who are so dedicated and committed to their mission to educate and empower children to promote a just, inclusive and equitable community. SES is a perfect example 
where everyone strives tirelessly to unlock the treasures of kindness, compassion and generosity hidden in every child. Aristotle once said and I quote, educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all, unquote. We always used to tell our boys, we are here to make you gentlemen, a good human being, not a great academician. SCS is proud to instill values and discipline in their children. The world today is changing at an accelerated rate. And with the pandemic, online education has become the new normal. But if you are in St. Columbus School, you will face no problems as it prepares its students to face boldly the challenges that future holds. To you students, I would like to tell you that you are fortunate to be studying in St. Columbus School which has a committed and supportive management, dedicated teachers, caring and cooperative parents, which blend harmoniously to create a child-centric school. Keep the Columban flag flying high of green and gold and live up to the motto of the school, dare to be wise always, sincere and constant we. I wish St. Columbus School all the very best and hope to be still around when SCS celebrates its centenary with full gusto and gait. God bless and thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Frederick, for sharing your thoughts with us this morning. We sincerely express our gratitude and extend our appreciation for your presence as you ignited the true feeling of being Columbus with your words about a prestigious school and its history. Moving ahead, I would now like to take the privilege of inviting our dear beloved brother Miranda, the principal of St. Columbus School, who in himself is an inspiration, a role model with a dynamic personality and aura that brightens the ambience of our school. Brother, may I request you to share your journey, thoughts, as well as advice for all those Dear students, staff, alumni, and parents, our reaching the 80th anniversary of the founding of St. Columbus is truly an important landmark in the history of our school. As we take joy and pride in our school at this time, my heart overflows in gratitude to all those who 80 plus years ago had the vision of a Catholic boys' school being set up in the heart of Delhi. Those were the years when it was obvious that the country was moving surely towards independence. And it was important that well-educated persons with broad minds and large hearts would take their place in this emerging society. I am grateful to the leaders of the Catholic Church, particularly Archbishop Sylvester Patrick Mulligan, for inviting the Christian brothers to set up our school. We are grateful to Brother Baptist Kohen, who was provincial of the Christian brothers in India at that time, and to his provincial team for accepting the invitation of the Archbishop. We thank the brothers who had been working in India since the 1840s and had established a great reputation for being excellent educators to especially students from disadvantaged backgrounds. This was also our legacy in Ireland, where the brothers were founded. 
We are grateful to Brother Kalamban Dahani, to whom we owe the wonderful senior school building, and to Brother Richard Butler, who was our first principal. We are grateful to the parents of those first 32 students who joined the school on the first day on the 21st of January 1941 and to the parents of many students in the early years who didn't mind that their sons studied in tents and faced many other inconveniences but who trusted in the brothers and teachers that they would get a good education and a good foundation for their lives. We are proud of all the brothers, staff members and students who have been in the school over the last 80 years and who because of their exemplary lives and service have created an awe for St. Columbus. This ethos is truly our heritage and we who are entrusted with this heritage today have the responsibility to use our presence here well and to ensure that we take this heritage to even greater heights. We do this by following in the spirit and letter of our school motto, Sapere O Dei day to know and sincere et constanta, sincerely and consistently. I greet all associated with the school in pride on this momentous occasion. May the divine who have guided all events since the beginning of time continue to bless us and bless our efforts so that the divine purpose of this school may truly be accomplished. May God bless you and keep you well. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Miranda, for your inspirational message. You truly are a leader who leads by example. You promise to make Columbus proud wherever we are. We look forward to contribute the best of ourselves so that our endeavors reflect the good teaching we gain through this school and be a guiding light to this world. Let us remember each one associated with St. Columba's in our prayers. Let St. Columba keep bestowing his blessings upon us all today and forever. May I request you all to bow your heads and join your hands as we lead into a prayer. Good morning, everyone. May I please request you all to join your hands as I lead you in the prayer. Dear loving God, we thank you for this blessing you have bestowed upon us all by giving us the opportunity to celebrate the auspicious occasion of the 80th anniversary of our school, St. Columbus. At this special moment, we give thanks and pray for all those who are present here and for those who have contributed to the life and success of our school throughout the journey of this remarkable 80 years history. We are indebted to the Christian brothers as they are the foundation, leaders and pioneers because of whom we all are celebrating this day. May we never forget their sacrifices, tireless service and hard work in the past eight decades that has led our school to the apex of success and excellence in education. Lord, we pray to you to bless our school community, our principal brother Miranda, our staff and their families, students and their parents, both past and present and each one connected with us across the world. May we always value the gift of St. Columbus School in our lives. Help us to look back in appreciation and forward in hope. Guide us with your light, O oh God. May our school continue to be a glorious and shining symbol of learning and service and be an agent of transformation in this world. We ask this in all your divine names. Amen.
Thank you everyone for being a part of today's celebration of the 80 years of St. Columbus. Let the years to come be filled with more prosperity and celebrations for everyone at St. Columbus. May I now request you all to put your right hand over your heart as we sing the school anthem and may we sing praises of St. Columbus forever. Happy 80th year as to all. Thank you. Brother Miranda, how lucky you are to be principal at this momentous occasion when we are completing 80 years of St. Columbus's foundation. First, I take this opportunity to salute the Irish Christian brothers who came all the way to set up these great institutions. And then I salute all of you who took over from them. What a fabulous system of schools you have set up. I joined St. Columbus 65 years ago when the school was intense and now the development is just to be seen to be believed. And you have produced a litany of students who have contributed immensely to this country. We have produced doctors, engineers, 
architects, civil servants, army, scientists, physicians, and mathematicians, you name it, and St. Columbus has produced it. So I salute the institution, I salute all of you, and I wish this institution all the very best, for in 20 years, it'll be completing a century. Thank you, brother, and thank you, all Columbans, and good luck. Bye-bye.